video today because I couldn't find anything that told you how to properly uh, depressurize your Freon for scrap metal purposes for a AC window unit. I'm going to scrap mine so I'm going to show you one way to do it. It's probably not the best way so parental discretion advised. I'm going to use a hammer and a screwdriver. I've already taken these two screws off before I thought about making a video, so I apologize. And I also pried this open, but it's these little nipples that are down in there that are a pain in the butt to get to, so that's why you need the hammer. should also be using gloves. So, let me get some gloves. There's the bathroom after. One piece. See? These are the nipples I'm talking about right here. You can see them. Right here. And right here. They go down inside the holes on the opposing pieces. That's what you're prying out. They're not but an eighth, eighth of an inch long, but uh, deep enough to cause a problem when you try to rip it open. So. These little buggers are what's keeping us from making scrap metal. So let's solve that problem. You know what? Screw the driver.
always be uh, cautious when you're letting out the pressure like that. Freon uh, is a dangerous substance if it's not given the respect that it deserves. So the blade. So is this guy. They'll charge you a stripping fee for this. Put it in a machine and they'll strip all that plastic off. But if you give it to them without this on it, you get a pure copper uh, price. So this will give you a little money for a couple of extra seconds. Bam. Just made $2. Shows its age. This doesn't want to come off. Kids don't smoke. I want to see. empty and uh, that's really what they require is that Freon's empty so so here we have the dismantled project uh, all I ended up using was my hands gloves and a hammer, screwdriver, Phillips head, and a uh, box cutter. So, tear yours apart. Thanks for watching.